Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do my April favorites. I know I didn't do a video for March and I am terribly sorry about that. Um, I felt like my haul video that I did that month pretty much explained my favorites. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to do my favorites for this month. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is nail polish. I went to headtotoebeauty.com and they sell a brand called Color Club. This is my first Color Club nail polish. Um, and this is in the color Wild and Willing. It is a gold with pink and green coppery kind of um, dual chrome, I guess. It's so cool. Uh, in certain lights, it's super sparkly and crazy. Um, in other lights, it flashes green and hot pink. And it's just really cool. Uh, I wouldn't normally pick like a bronzy color on my skin because I don't feel like on my nails that it looks very good because um, copper, it's kind of almost a coppery color but it's really really cool and I love it um, I got a lot of compliments on it and it is just there you go, I can really see it then it's really cool and again this is wild and willing the next nail polish that I want to talk about is Essie's Lilacism and it is a pale um, light kind of lavender color this looks very similar to Zoya's Miley, but you don't have to build up the color. Because like with Miley, I have to use four coats. With this, I can just use one or two. Um, actually, two coats. I don't ever go below two coats. But anyway, um, it's so gorgeous and beautiful. It's perfect for spring. It's slightly brighter than Miley, so that's why I really like it. More spring. Miley I use during the fall time more so than the springtime. So I love this color, and I had to mention it. Next would be, of course, the Milani Nail Art. Um, this is an art of silver, and if you leave a comment below, uh, one of you will win it. If you live in the United States, you have to be living in the United States because <laughs> my contest winner, she lived in Hungary, and I can't send nail polish overseas if it's flammable or something. So anyway, maybe take it out. And um, so leave me a comment. It will be a random comment winner. One comment per person, please. Um, but yeah, you can win one of these because I already have one. <laughs> so I just thought somebody else should have it. I mean, it's really cool. But I've been really loving these because you can use the brush and your other nail polishes, if you guys didn't see me talk about that before. But yeah, just clean off the brush and use it in your other nail polishes. It's got a very thin uh, brush. And these are at CVS for $3.99, I think. So they're totally cool, and I think everybody should get one uh, if, you, if you're into nail art. So yes, leave a comment below, anything, and you'll be entered. The next product that I want to talk about is from MAC, and it is the shade sticks, well, the grease paint sticks, I should say. This is in Dirty. This is like my favorite base now, ever. If you love satin taupe, you'll really love it. I'll swatch it for you is a dirty brown and it's slightly metallic and it's so beautiful as a base smoky eyes this is my favorite so I wasn't gonna get any of the grease paint sticks but I did end up with that one um, pretty much I I got the pearl glide liners I got undercurrent and designer purple and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my my problem with those I had to return them because I got a horrible allergic reaction every time I use them. First time I use them, I use them on the waterline. Now I heard that they were safe for the waterline, but this was not so for me. It really scratched my eye. My eye was super bright red, and I literally could not get it off. It was very water resistant, so I had to like scrape my waterline, and it my eyelids swelled up. I got hives. It was horrible. So I had to return both of them because um, I, I tried using them like just on the upper lash line and it just didn't work out for me so if you have sensitive skin I don't recommend those um, but they were so beautiful and I did love them <laughs> so I thought I'd mention them so instead of like getting the liners I decided to pick up something called um, dressmaker dressmaker this is a lipstick this is a luster and I'm wearing it right now and I love this lip color. It is just awesome. It's peachy. And 
and it's slightly corally. And I really like it. Um, I was looking for something to kind of replace Pleasure Seeker because I'm running out of it. Um, and it's really nice. I love lusters because you can really build them up or, you know, however you want them, you can make them. And on top of that, I decided to get the Boy Bait Cream Sheen Glass. This is the first Cream Sheen Glass I've bought. Um, what I have to say about it is it's not sticky. It's very nice. I love that I can, you know, put it over anything and it won't like really distract from the color. It's a very nice milky kind of color. Um, I know this is a lot of people's favorite lip gloss so that's why I went with it and I love it. I think it's awesome. I think it's way too expensive but um, because I had that return I'm gonna love this while I have it. The next thing I've purchased is um, this Cream Sheen lipstick and this is in Cream Cup. And I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I was curious. And it is just this awesome everyday pink. It's very, um, it's light, and um, it's it's more natural looking than anything I have in terms of pinks. I love the cream sheens because they have a nice kind of glossy look to them. So that's that. Next I picked up Culture Clash. And the reason I picked this up is because they actually ran out of a MAC lip gloss and that was Cherry Blossom, which was released with Cult of Cherry. So I picked this one up, and this one is just so awesome. It matches it pretty much to a T. <laughs> it's slightly maybe frostier and brighter, but it's your typical baby pink, milky, but it's got lots of shimmer in it, so I wouldn't say it's milky. I'd say it's just a soft pastel pink. And it's... It is what it is. It's a very typical color, but this is something I use all the time, so I decided to pick it up, and I've been using it, like, all the time. <coughs> okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the Remmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I think this was, like, $6 at Target, um, and this is in the color 100, um, or ivory. This is the lightest shade that they offer. And I'm going to do a full product review on this, but I do love this. On days that I want full coverage, I really have been picking this up. Um, it, it has a fragrance to it, but it hasn't broke me out. Um, you get one fluid ounce, which is really good. You know, I mean, <laughs> I've been using some foundations that are 30 some dollars. So um, I've been trying to find cheaper alternatives, and this is really nice. I really like this. Um, but again, I'm going to do a, a full extensive product review on this, just so you guys know. And the next thing I've been loving would be, this is a hair product. This is the Organic Soft and Silky Vanilla Silk. And I got this for $1.75 at CVS. It was on sale. And um, it smells like real vanilla bean. It smells really good. It makes your hair smell good, too. And it helps with, like, frizz, and um, it helps, like, protect against heat damage. Next, of course, I've been loving my sugar pill stuff. And I did get the Burning Heart Quad. Pigmentation is just, it's amazing. There's, there's nothing like it. I mean, th this red is awesome. And I hate reds. Like, I don't ever reach for red, but this is the first red that has not irritated my eyes. Um, the Coastal Scents I'm actually becoming allergic to, so this has been just a perfect palette for me. I'll just do some swatches here. I mean, this is just one little touch, and look at that. And this will stain my fingers. That's how, like, crazy pigmented this is. It has not irritated my eyes. Uh, I love it. I get compliments on it when I use it because it's just so insane. Next thing I want to share with you guys is something I'm just so excited and proud about. I purchased myself a Mini Cooper, and this is not just any Mini Cooper, this is a brand new Mini Cooper Sport, and it is the Camden Edition, and I'm just going to show you guys through the window here, you can see it, but it's sitting out there, there's my baby, and it is black, and it is just, it's awesome, and I'm so happy about it, so there's my big purchase, it's lovely. But anyway, that's it for things I'm loving, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon.